I'm going to play that I saw Lana you shared. So I know you saw this clip and um, this is RFK Jr.'s New York. Um, this is her, his, um, what do you call it? Uh, campaign manager in New York. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even matter what her name is. And, you know, there's always been this talk as to whether or not Robert Kennedy Jr. is going to hurt Donald Trump or is he going to hurt Joe Biden? You know, anybody, again, with any comprehension level or with a pulse or anybody that follows this a little bit, it's clear that RFK Jr. is not somebody that any Democrat or liberal would consider and go, I don't know, maybe, you know, other than the fact that you're really not paying attention and you saw his last name was Kennedy and you know he was part of that Kennedy family. I mean, if that's the only thing that you have, then you shouldn't probably be voting anyway. But, <laughs> but um, this is the campaign manager in New York just openly saying what her thoughts are on her own candidate, Robert Kennedy Jr., and the comparison with Donald Trump. There's no Biden voters in the House, right? Let's make clear, no Biden. No. Biden. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> Things, I guess, will change over time because you do have to only pick one candidate at the end of the day. But the Kennedy voter and the Trump voter, the enemy, our mutual enemy is Biden. Since Biden is counting on us with Bobby in the mix, my, my thought is for the Republicans. See, Bobby right now, he's pulling from both sides. Right now, he's actually pulling a little bit more from Biden, which explains why the DNC is kind of ganging up on him. They have a special committee to go after independent candidates. Yeah, they say independent candidates, like non-affiliated candidates, they really mean Bobby, because Bobby's the only third party that anybody's taking seriously. So they developed a committee just to go after him and to get him off of the ballot in any way they can, especially it seems as though they're going after the battleground states more than the deep blue states. By the way, let's go over this real quick. The election 24, how to benefit from our uh, on the ballot here. This is a strategic opportunity to block Biden. Is th This is, again, his campaign manager in New York. Yeah. Trump can't win New York. New York has not elected a Republican president in 40 years. New York is assumed Democrat. Uh, Biden counts the 28 electoral votes in his favor automatically. 270 wins the presidency. If other blue states follow our example, Biden cannot win. New York can send a message of independence. That's not happening. I, I, I don't I don't know how deluded they are into thinking that Robert. OK, Dems uh, comprise just under half New York voters. Republicans are 22 percent and no affiliation or 23 uh, percent. Bobby is a landing pad for disillusioned Democrats. So. I am assuming this is a plan for Robert Kennedy Jr. to somehow win New York. Go for it. <laughs> like, yeah. All right. You know what? I it doesn't even matter. I don't we don't have to finish up to what Bobby's what, what moving she's the saying. blues on his uh, own. She won't. She if the Republic Shut up, crazy. dummy. They're crazy. <laughs> um they're crazy. Yeah, and uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. also had to back track a little bit on his comments on the January 6th. Uh, he was basically, you know, saying the same thing Donald Trump is, is that they're hostages. And yeah. this is a bad political strategy, by the way. I really don't know anybody except for the whacked out MAGA cult that looks at those people and says, yeah, they shouldn't be in jail. They were just, you know, peacefully protesting. I, I've gone back a million times too, which drives me more insane that people are not bringing up more than anything. The Capitol, that was during the height of COVID. The Capitol was locked and closed that day. It wasn't even open for you to go in and protest, even if it wasn't. That was the day that they were certifying the election votes. Right. So it wasn't something that you were allowed to just right. walk in Right. And do that day, the Capitol was closed. You were not allowed in there. At the very least, you trespassed on a federal building. Right. If one person tried to trespass into that building on that day or any other day that the Capitol was closed, they would be in jail without even hitting a cop. Right. Right. <laughs> So to call these fucking assholes, and again, you talked about, you said the word numerous times, gaslighting. 
How many videos do we have to see right. of these monsters? These are real monsters, right. not the ones that Donald Trump keeps trying to right. tell us that are coming in from Mexico. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. Oh my God. It's the caravan. And these are animals. Those done. were exactly. animals. Right. 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 which is very infuriating. And to call these people hostages, and Lana brought this up before too, when you call these hostages, when there's real hostages, you know, in 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 real places, it is really, it's offensive, it's infuriating, and it's more infuriating that you have not just a guy running for president, but you have others surrounding him in an ecosystem of, propaganda media and uh, propagandists in the Congress and the people surrounding him that echo these ridiculous claims. Right. Hostages. And these people still vote for him. This is like, shit that, but then again, where's the surprise? Like he called military veterans uh, suckers and losers. So, yeah. and, they, and they still will vote for him. Yeah. It wasn't the me. biggest suckers and losers are the ones who vote for him. Yeah, right. Those are the suckers and losers. Yeah. yeah. Bobert and MTG giving tours day before uh, Baby Juggernaut says, "Yeah, uh, they're they're on they're on videos." And again, I I don't understand why that's not looked into a little bit more. I mean, that's I'm not true, a conspiracy right? theorist, but when you see them giving tours to people again to a place that was closed. Right. It wasn't right. even supposed to be open to these people. Ted Cruz too, on that telephone call. Right. Remember that? Yeah. They, they playing that, that uh, tape of that recording of him. Yes. Yep. With the fake electors or something he was talking about. Yeah. So, what's happening here? Like, I don't, I don't understand. This is they keep talking about the irregularities of the 2020. The irregularities came from them. Yeah. That's where it came from. Yeah. I mean, this is fucking uh, fake electors that they're trying yeah. to put together to overturn the election. Electors. Having <laughs> That's people like guilty. Right. <laughs> They're having people break into the um the, to the Capitol. That's irregular. That is yeah. not. And by the way, the other thing that they keep talking about, these irregularities are some of these in red states too, like Georgia. And these were all rules and regulations that were put in place because of COVID by mm -hmm. Republican legislators. These were the ones put it, it was before the, um, the uh, election happened. So it's not like just something that they decided on the day of the election said, Hey, you know, these votes that were mailed or whatever the fucking case is that they were just going to, uh, you know, uh, change the rules on that day. These were rules that were already in place before the election. There was no irregularities. And the fact that we're still talking about this fucking stupid shit four years later is insane. <laughs> four years later. In fucking insane.